The Cherokee Nation is fighting back against the state and two city governments after petitions were filed to have the U.S. Supreme Court revisit its decision on tribal jurisdiction. The tribe filed its own brief to the high court today, and News on 6's Brian Dorman has more. The Cherokee Nation is asking the U.S. Supreme Court to deny the state's petition to overturn its ruling on tribal jurisdiction. Oklahoma Attorney General John O'Connor says the ruling has led to a crisis in the criminal justice system. That petition was filed in August, but this week the cities of Tulsa and Owasso filed briefs in support of the state's petition to revisit the ruling. The brief says that tribes have failed to prosecute thousands of cases. It also questions if the state has authority to prosecute cases involving a non-native suspect and native victim. The Cherokee Nation says since the Supreme Court's ruling last year, it has prosecuted more than 2,300 cases. The tribe also says it continues to add staffing to its criminal justice department to help with the growing caseload. Cherokee Nation Attorney General Sarah Hill says that the state has been working on ways to undermine the ruling instead of working with the tribes to find solutions to the problems. Right now, the biggest impediment for law enforcement is not McGirt. It is the state's unwillingness to accept the outcome of McGirt and its unwillingness to engage and solve problems through discussion and cooperation with the tribes. The Cherokee Nation says it will continue to work with city governments and law enforcement to ensure public safety on its reservation. The tribe says it has the ability to cross-deputize law enforcement in every agency located inside Cherokee Nation. Brian Dorman, Oklahoma's own News on 6.